Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 30th, the last day of the month. Congratulate yourself uh, if you made it all this far. If not, that's okay. Next month is around the corner. We can try again. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about uh, this prom. Today, we have an easy prom to finish off the month. Very good because um, I might do an extra bonus prom afterwards. Uh, maybe not right afterwards because I need to go shopping a little bit for groceries. But um, for those of you who watch my channel from time to time um, on Yeezy Farms, I do do a bonus extra farm that I haven't done before just to even it out a little bit. And, you know, feel free to kind of at least watch, enjoy, do an extra farm if you will. Um, and it's all determined by uh, randomness RNG. So I, so I can't, I, you know, I don't know if it's going to be a good farm or even related, but we'll see. Anyway, let's take a look at today's Yeezy. We have 594 longest harmon uh subsequence. It is a sequence where the difference between max and minimum value is exact one, exactly one. Uh, given nums, the longest. Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, I think there are not that many number of C. I mean, I think the. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think this is the same thing that we've been talking about all last couple of days, right? Which is, do does order matter? Um, and the first thing I would say is, well, now we can sort. And you can actually do a sort and a binary search per item kind of thing like we did. But but this one, it's even more stricter. So you don't even need to maybe sort. I mean, ordering does not matter. And you could still sort. Um, I think it's just like a very cheap thing to do in general. But for this one, you don't even need to. Though, like I said, you can do an log n binary search one. And if you did it one way or the other, upsolve it doing the other way. Um, for this particular problem, maybe one way is more optimal, but some ways just don't work for certain problems and, you know, um, practicing everything in your skill set, um, will, even when it's not optimal, will allow you to kind of, you know, fine tune or refine your understanding and, um, yeah, just like your technique of it, right? And in this case, for what I mean by that is that I'm not going to do sorting and binary search, which I, I recommend. Uh, I would just do it by counter, right? For frequency table. Why is it a frequency table? Um, because for this particular one, for me anyway, means that we only have to check two numbers, right? Which is x and x plus one. So that makes it actually really simple to kind of do. And because the ordering doesn't matter, we just have to keep track of the frequency of those two things. If there are multiple, or if there are more numbers, uh, then maybe binary search would make sense. But you know, this is why, right? And and here we just have to get the longest. We don't have to count or anything funky like we did a couple of days ago. So that should be good. Okay. Uh, and if you're watching up to this far, I do have a random question for you. Uh, I just finished Squid Game. So let me know in the comments how you think about the, uh, the last season of Squid Games. Uh, uh, I don't want to spoil uh, anything, obviously, but, uh, but I, I don't know. I, I enjoyed the ending. I don't think people say the ending is meh. And I, I think it could be okay, but there are a lot of things in between where I'm just like, where's the payoff? It just things happen and they didn't really, I don't know. Anyway, all right, let's finish this poem. My apologies. We could talk about it maybe another day. Uh, I think it just came out. It's too early for me to even put, you know, go into more details. Anyway, back to this poem. Uh, we had the frequency, and what we said is that if we check for x, we only have to check for x plus 1. So it's pretty simple. We can have something like this, where for x is in f dot keys, uh, or maybe k, just, uh, let's say x, because we've been saying x. It's just this plus f of x plus 1. Right? And then now we just have to max it over all the x's and we are good. That's it, I think. If I'm wrong, then we have to re uh, evaluate the problem. But, uh, huh. Did I? Oh, exactly one. Okay. So, okay. So I am a little bit wrong because I misread it a little bit. But luckily, there is an example for it. Otherwise, I would have been eating crap. Uh, but the key thing is just going if f of x is greater than 0, which it should be, but we can double check x1 is greater than 0, right? Because you need, it's exactly 1, not at most 1, right? So the, so the, the original code would have been okay if it's at most 1, because uh, having one unique number is fine, but now we want, you know, exactly 1, right? So so this should make it good. Uh, give us submit. Hopefully I'm not wrong, uh, because that would be very sad. And that's it, right? This is going to be linear time, linear space, because we do a frequency table and that's just the lower bound, right? Because all of them could be unique, for example, would be linear space. Um, and then this is just a loop for the keys, so pretty straightforward. Uh, and all of one extra space aside from the frequency table. And that's it. That's all I have for this one. 
let me know what you think thanks for watching uh thanks for come, uh watching it this month let's do another month uh have a great rest of the week hope you had a great weekend have a great rest of the week uh stay good stay healthy to your mental health i'll see y'all later and take care bye bye